Hello friends, Doug Fink, Microsoft MVP. Today I'm going to walk, walk through showing you a new feature for the PowerShell AI module that I built. It was contributed from the community and it's a nice reframe on how to do some things. So if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and the notification and also hit the thumbs up. That'd be great. So what does it do? So sometimes you're working at the console and you type in some PowerShell code and you get an error. So what are you going to do? Well, the new function is invoke AI error helper. And what that does is it takes the last error that you had, sends it up to chat GPT and gets the result right here in, in the console. So now you can actually experience errors, whether you're running a script or a single, uh, single line PowerShell command. Um, and then you can start right here in your terminal, figuring out what it is the problem um, with the help of chat GPT. So just as one more example is, or a couple more I'll do, let's say I was going to do a get command and I'm going to do it on some unknown command. And you could also use IEH. What that is, an alias to the invoke, a, uh, the invoke AI uh, error helper. So there you go. I got the get command error, and this is what ChatGPT tells me about it. Check the spelling of the name. So basically, it's giving me back what I got from the get command error, but it also goes a little further and talks about what the error indicates. Uh, this could be due to a typo, etc. So that's a pretty good and useful explanation. We'll do one more. Well, sometimes you might actually type in the wrong subscript for an array. Uh, cannot index into a null array. So let's see what uh, ChatGPT says about it. This error occurs when attempting to access an array that has not been initialized or is empty. So it even gives a potential solution where I can check and see if the array is null or not, which is kind of good. So if I was actually working with a script that was indexing arrays and had this error, I might want to go back and then take this piece of information, put it in my code, and give it a try. That's it. Thanks for watching. You can do an install module or install hyphen module on uh, PowerShell AI, one word, if you want to grab the code and take it for a spin. Until then, I'll talk to you later.